Okay, folks, so this video is going to show how we can sketch an object like this in three views. So a front view, a top view, and a right side view. And what it is going to uh, use to do that is some graph paper. Specifically, we'll put some graph paper over top of, or some white paper over top of graph paper. And as you can see, you can still see the grid through it. So this allows you to reuse the graph paper over and over. Um, for the sake of this video, I'm just going to use plain graph paper because it's easier to see in the camera. But at home, you should be um, putting the white paper over top of it. Any white computer paper will do um, because we this is much more common than the graph paper. So we want to save the graph paper. Um, some things to note here are that the squares on this, this is what we call an isometric grid which basically allows us to have squares going up and down, left and right, and forward and backwards. So, um, but the reality is that each of these squares is gonna equal a quarter inch in real life, and the graph paper that you have, it has a quarter inch grid. So um, that's the scale that you should be using. And when we ultimately get to drawing on the green paper, um, the nice green paper to do our drawing using our drawing instruments, um, that is the scale that we will use. Um, so the idea of this, exercise is to be able to sketch out this drawing to prepare for um for actually drawing this um in real on on green paper on the real green graph paper so um the sketch is in preparation for drawing on green paper with instruments. So to get started here, um, like I said, I'm gonna draw directly on the graph paper. Um, when you actually do uh, your work on the green paper, we're, we're gonna wanna make sure that all three of our views are centered, our front, top, and right view are centered on the page, but that will be something to worry about later. For now, we're just gonna focus on drawing this. If you think about it, if we pretend this is our sheet of paper, for the most part, we're gonna have a front view around here. If, if this is the whole sheet of paper, we'll have a front view. The top view will be above it with these edges lined up. And the right side view will be over here. So this would be front, top, and right side. Um, before we even do this, we will have obviously added our border and we will have put in our title block with all of the appropriate divisions on it, and we will have written info in. So um, this is kind of, that's the super rough sketch of the sketch. Um, so we're not gonna worry about putting the title block and border on here. We're gonna just focus on getting this shape. And we almost always start with the front view. For the sake of this exercise, I am just telling you that our front view is gonna have us standing over here like a little person, looking with an eyeball, this is an eyeball, okay, directly in this direction, okay? So that is going to be our front view, okay? So we can just start that down here on the lower left of the graph paper. And again, you should have your graph, your white paper over top the graph paper, but I'm just doing it on here directly for visibility. And if our front view is over here, we're gonna see this surface, this surface, and this surface, if you think back to our surface ID, that's why we did that activity is so we could get in the habit of thinking what surfaces would be visible in the front view. So later on, we're gonna learn how to choose a front view and stuff, but we're not gonna do that for now. Um, we're just gonna do it this way uh, with me telling you where to start. So I'm gonna start with this point right down here and I'm gonna work off of that point. So if we look here, let's say that that point, maybe right here is about good. So this point right here corresponds to this point right here. And now it's as simple as just counting. So if I look here, I can see um, there's one square, two squares, three squares up from that. So I'm gonna count one, two, three. And that brings me to this corner right here. Then I'm gonna count over one, two, two squares. So one, two. And then I'm gonna count down one, two, three, one, two, three, and look at that. I have now created, and this is a sketch, so you shouldn't even worry about using a straight edge, just kind of find these points. Um, and now I've created this surface right here. 
Now you have to resist the temptation to do anything with this surface because we're, we're kind of skipping over that. We're jumping right to this shape right here because if we look, if we're looking straight on, this surface is going to be hidden. That is just this line right here. So now I jump back to this point here and I can count again. One, two, three, four, five, six. So this is six tall from this point right here. One, two, three, four, five, six. We come up there. Uh, so I got to this point. Now I'm going to go one, two, three, four over. One, two, three, four. And you can just go along doing this. And if we think about this, we don't even have to count to get down here. We know that this is a rectangular shape. So that last point's got to be right there. And then what's more is, look at this. This looks like it's the same as that side. And if we count, it's one, two wide. And its height is one, two, three, just like that side was. So we can just use uh, some context here and say, all right, well, it's got to be the same height. And it's got to be the same width. So I'm just going to kind of fill in these shapes here. Bring that down there. And look at that. We have drawn our front view. So that's the first stage. Okay, now the next stage, like I said, is to do the top view. This is like we had in the, the PowerPoint slide. If I draw a rough little helicopter here, something like that. That's our helicopter flying overhead. Woo. We'll put a little window in it. There's a guy looking down. This guy's got his eyeball facing downwards, and he's looking down at these surfaces here. So that would be this surface. He'd see this surface, and he'd see this surface over here. So now we're doing those top views. And here's what's neat. We don't have to think very hard to line this all up. Watch this. We know that this surface is going to have the same width as this surface did because they share that side, and that width was two. Same with this, same with this. And look at, we can just go and kind of lightly draw little lines up here. Lightly draw. And we're going to know that our top view has to kind of line up with these four light lines that I just drew here. So that'll sort of help us out. You don't want to make these too dark because they're not your real lines, but I'm making them dark enough that you can see them. And the other thing is we want to leave space between these views. Typically, the amount of space we leave is about one and one half inches. Okay, so that would be if each of these is a quarter of an inch, quarter of an inch, half an inch, three quarters, whole inch, uh, one, and a half, one and a quarter inches, one and a half inches. So that comes up to about here. It's about six squares. So I'm just going to kind of stick that in there as a light dimension so you can remember that. But that is the space between the views is about one and a half inches um, or six squares between views. Okay. And so that brings us up here. I'm going to just draw a line. So this line represents the front of the object. It re represents this line right here for looking down on the top of it. So I'm going to set this aside now. If, if, we, if we look at this, what we're going to see is from the front line of that object back, it's just two squares. So that's one, two. So we'll come one, two, back. And that brings us to a line right here because we went back one, two squares, and that brought us to this line right here. Okay. And we're not seeing any of this depth, but we are seeing this rectangular shape back here. And if we count again, so we're moving up this surface, we're going to go um, one, two, three squares back. You can see these lines here. That's really one, two, three. So I'll go one, two, three. And that brings us to the back edge of our object right here. And look at that. I didn't even have to really go line by line because I drew those vertical lines up. We call that projecting. We projected all of the edges. I can just darken in the lines, and now I have my top view completely done, right? So that is a pretty quick way to get to the top view. And our right side view is going to take just about the same format, except now our little guy is standing right over here, and he's got his eyeball looking this way, and he's going to see this surface, this surface. And all this stuff is really hidden behind that, and we're going to see that in a second. So when you're creating these, you can just follow this process of projecting all of your edges over 
And this is easy on the graph paper. When we switch from graph paper, we're just going to have a T-square that's going to let us project straight lines over. And how many gaps do we leave or how many spaces do we leave? One and a half um, squares. I'm sorry, how many squares do we leave? One uh, is one and a half inches, which is six squares. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So this is going to be the side of our object now. Um, and what we've done is we've picked this up and we've tilted it like this and we're slamming it back down to the page. So our, our front is facing over to the left here. Oh, I can't get my, my finger in there right. Um, so this is again the front of our object. It's that front surface. So now though, we're gonna count back. We need to find this edge because we, we can't see anything below that because it's hidden, but that's gonna be one, two squares back. So that gives us this front surface of this edge here. And we're going to see this shape because we're seeing that arm kind of sticking out over there. And that's coming back one, two, three, just like we counted up there, up in this uh, top view. One, two, three. And so that brings us to the very back edge of the whole object. And we are, of course, seeing this arm sticking out in the front. And there are going to be um, numerous different uh, ways that you can actually construct these views. Um, oh, I've forgotten the hidden line. Uh, we're going to see a hidden line because we would really see this object, the edge of this going on down through here. So we'll add a bit of a hidden line in. So anyways, there are numerous ways to really create these. There are other ways where you actually draw a diagonal off here and you project down. Um, I'm not showing that in this video because this is a very simple drawing that I wanted to show you all. But um, I, I just wanted to um, kind of create that that idea there of, of how we can generate from what we call an isometric or pictorial view, isometric or pictorial view, how we can generate um, the multi-view drawing or orthographic. drawing. So you can go between the two and later on we're going to learn how to be how to take a multi-view drawing and create an isometric drawing out of it. So um, this is the basic of this. Um, you're also going to probably want to add dimensions on here um, but I'm going to create another video for that. So um, stay tuned for that one.